It's Wednesday. It's the Wednesday wrap-up. Something, obviously, that just started today, but that sounds official, doesn't it? Um, let's see. I have so much to say. I can't even say it because I'm just so annoyed. Anyway, I missed the march today. Amos is sick. Now I'm on an antibiotic. I have bronchitis. Russell has strep throat. Clearly... It was meant for me to not go. And you know what? Maybe it was. I might have hurt someone. Like, gone to prison hurt. So, thank you, Lord, for saving me from myself. Truly, I think that. Um, I have heard more shenanigans of what people said. Some Brendan Jones representative, he told a teacher that they shouldn't waste their time and go back for a master's degree. That's nice. So nice. Um, they came out with the new track for the salaries. This whole 51000 a year thing, hey, Lizzie, is, I mean, a joke. Let's just go over that. And I'm going to do a post on it, but I hadn't had time um, because Amos cried maybe eight hours today. It's good times, good times over here. Um, he does not have a fever, but it's like he's someone from The Shining. He's coming out of his sick fog. So anyway. No writing, nothing. Just drinking wine um, tonight. Well, so let's see. Brendan Jones tells people not to get a master's degree. The new teacher um, salary, this average thing, is really tricky. Do you remember years ago? Well, you might not, but I'm from North Carolina. Michael Jordan majored in communications at Carolina. So if you looked at the average salary, salary of communications of NC, UNC graduates, it was like 233000 And people were like, oh, wow, you should be a communications graduate. Well, Michael Jordan's income screwed up the whole thing. Y'all be quiet. Go to bed. My husband is gone for a long weekend with his friends, and I'm so excited. But I'm not a very good single parent, just in case anybody's wondering. Um, so anyway, I should be cleaning up the kitchen from Pizza Hut, but I'm not... And anyway, so when you look at the average salary, keep in mind that that, can, that includes all administrators that have teaching degrees. So, so be it, Mark Johnson, our superintendent, who was in Craven County today, and the best part was he was supposed to go to an elementary school, but they asked him to reschedule because they were wanting to focus on the march. <laughs> that makes me so tickled. Anyway, I love that. Um, so his salary of 130000 is included in the teacher salary because he does have a teaching degree, even though he taught for two years. Not that I've taught any, but nor do I pretend that I did. I mean, I just taught little random things here and there. I'm not tough enough. Anyway, um, and then the other thing is we have right many people that get paid by the federal government, ROTC, will match their salary if they teach. So there, I think about seven people in North Carolina that make 110,000. That's right much. And the state includes that in what we're paying people 51,000. But, oh, the teacher from Benvenu. Oh, I enjoyed meeting you. I had to go by Benvenu last week because I like teachers and I don't hide from them. Um, anyway, the government pays. So the state is saying, we pay this. Okay, the state doesn't give any of that money. The other thing the state includes in that average are the subsidies from the county. Now, 8,000 is what I think Wake County gets. That's from their lo local funds. Chowan County, my county gets, I think about 1,600 maybe. So that's not state money. So if you live here, you're gonna make less. And I had all these teachers send me their W-2s this afternoon. Thank you, teachers, for sending me your W-2s. And um, and willing to share it. I mean, obviously, I'm taking off their name and stuff. I didn't see one teacher, not one, that had over 50000 listed on their W-2. I had a teacher with a national certification that's taught for 23 years, a teacher with a master's and a national certification that's taught for 11. Um, I mean, a slews of them. Nope, no 51. So if anybody out there has a 51,000 pay stub, I would like to see it. 
and I would like to see how much of the money is coming from the local district or the federal government, not the state of North Carolina. Thank you. Feel free to send those to me. I don't know what I could do with them. Um, but if Amos ever goes back to school, I might could do some tabulating. Now, here's another thing. People are hateful towards teachers. There's this guy, and his name is, what's his name? Watson. He's from Kinston. And we have mutual friends. Well, Watson, Watson, Watson tells people to put on their dunce caps in March today. What? I just have a real problem with that. So then I told Watson, that's not nice. And he said, well, I took my children to school today. Okay, his children are not in school. They go to child care. So you can't tell the child care teachers for working today. That has nothing to do with any of this. Oh, Lordy, we know Watson. Well, Jenny Hobbs, you tell Watson that he's on my X list. And so then Watson says to me, says about me, huh, she is work. She doesn't work. Me? Not work? I mean, look at this. I'm celebrating life's biggest moments with my silicone wine cup from a conference last week. Hmm. Anyway, I sent Watson's brother a message, and he hadn't responded yet. But Watson's in big trouble. And Watson says her husband um, works for the state. No, no, him no work for the state. He works um, at a law firm, which he's a partner. Godwin and Godwin in Gatesville. Watson. Get your story straight. Know your stuff. Become a good Facebook sleuth like myself. And Watson and I reached out to some friends, and they were not happy with you. Um, another thing that I found sort of ridiculous was the GOP posted on their Facebook page, because I was home and with Amos crying, I had a lot of time to scan social media. Um, the GOP posted that this insinuation that all the cars and the parking garages had northern license plates. But there was no photo. So that there, this was somehow sort of like um, a, a sneaky like attempt to have a fake march. And that's pretty offensive. So I would suggest all of you go on the GOP's Facebook page and you can look at a nice long list of all the members and send them Facebook messages, just like I did. I sent about maybe a dozen and said, hey, what do you think about this group that you're a member of saying this? Um, one fella is on the school board. You know, people need to need to ask questions. And I know it takes a lot of time. It's such a waste. But anyway, ooh, I am having Rosemont wine this evening. I got Rosemont wine when I spoke at Rosemont to families embracing autism. So anyway, I wish I was at the pond in Rocky Mount, but I'm not. We parked at Meredith and took the bus. I'm so glad. Anyway, um, what else? What else did I miss? Ooh, the very best thing I saw today, this might have to be my post, maybe tomorrow morning, was um, these teachers stopped at Bojangles and went to Bojangles to use the bathroom. And when the Bojangles staff saw them with their red shirts on, they gave them stuff for free. That makes me happy. That's people that really matter. I met you at Rosemont. Oh, Elizabeth, I want to do that again. That was fun. Um, so anyway, I was really glad to hear that. Um, I was disappointed that the they only met for 15 minutes today. Maybe that's normal. But like if I were ever in the House of Representatives and I went all the way up there, I would want to meet for longer than 15 minutes. I mean, that's a lot of trouble. And... Um, they said it was too loud, but teachers, I mean, what if we went home after it was too loud? I mean, I would have been done with Amos by like 7.30 this morning. Holy shit. Oh, the bus driver wouldn't let us pay. See, that's nice. Um, so anyway, let's see who else. Um, nobody got called a thug today, so that's, that's good. And what else? Did anybody talk about the fact that the new teacher salaries, like schedule for next year, from zero to 15, you get a raise, but for years 15 to 30, you know get raise. So basically it's like, come on, get out um, after 15 years, because then we won't have to pay your, you won't get retirement. And right now, if you teach for 20 years and you've got a master's or a national board thing, it doesn't matter if you have a master's now, you don't make extra money for it. If you're new, you get about 700 a month. 
and you paid for it yourself because you know that's taken out of your paycheck. So all this like, we pay your retirement or whatever, that's not true. In health insurance, people pay for their own families. It's not like the state pays for that. And in 2020, if you start working as a teacher, you will not get um, insurance after you retire. Yes, no raise for National Board veterans. The best people that are gonna benefit from this new schedule salary are people that start teaching right now. We asked about that and all three reps were not in agreement with the frozen scale. Well, that's good. I like when people aren't in agreement with something, but don't do anything about it. Maybe they're trying to do something about it. Um, hmm. Nobody from our district went, but there were a lot of people wearing red, which was nice. Oh, well, that's not true. Some people, nobody from the elementary school. I think the middle school and maybe the high school they went. Saw lots of buses from big counties, and I love that superintendent letter. What did I say about national boards? You're, if you, people are not getting raises that are on the national board that have been over 15 years. Oh, Krista Bond said people went from Walker, good. Um, yes, I did know the middle school and high school because they were meeting with Bob Steinberg, I was very glad. I like Bob Steinberg and I think he genuinely cares about teachers. I think a lot of our legislators really don't have a clue about education and what it looks like. Um, and he wants to know and wants to help. So, no, none from Walker. So anyway, I think that's good. Not that anybody cares what I think. Um, but if I had been there, I would have gone by Bojangles. My favorite is the boning, bonus pay for testing grades. Ooh, now this, that's a very wonderful topic to talk about. Um, I can't, hey, sugar britches. Jolie Russ, trouble in the nutshell. Okay, anyway. We now, well, the last few years, they've had a pilot program, so third grade teachers who produce good scores um, get paid extra. I would tell people to teach. Elizabeth, I would really tell them to go teach. I would tell them to. Because, like I say about having Amos, we're not building up our treasures in heaven. I don't think there's any, um, any reason to take it like a wuss, but I still think teaching is awesome. Um, anyway, so... If you're third grader, so I have this nice little cartoon that Russell, my son, had a few years ago in third grade. And his teacher evidently got the biggest bonus in the county. I think she got over $12,000, and she's not in this district anymore. She came for one year, and then cha-ching, she's gone. Because now we don't have longevity um, pay, so people aren't really. That was where you got paid a little bit extra after maybe 10 years or something. A little bit extra so you could... Um, you would stay faithful to your district because where we are, people aren't because, I mean, obviously they want to make more money. I mean, that's how we all work. So anyway, um, so Russell's teacher got a huge wad of cash and I had to sign a uh, contract that year about that he would eat breakfast and sleep. I mean, it was terrible. Anyway, all my testing posts are gonna be coming out. Drew, I was not there, I was here suffering um, not in silence with Amos and Russell. So anyway, that's that for the getting paid for scores. And I don't even think great teachers like that anyway, because if you're a third grade teacher, then you're kind of saying, well, it doesn't matter what they learned in K first or second grade, right? I mean, teachers know better than that. So teachers don't even like it. It's dodo birds um, making the rules that like it. And really, like, am I gonna be a better mother if people pay me? No, I'm not. Maybe, well, maybe I would, I'm not sure. I wish I was. Um, now, let's see, what else can we talk about? Um, mothering, teaching, empowering. Ooh, Meg Bell is watching. Meg Bell. Thank you for all those shoes you sent to our family, even though they're still too big. Fourth and fifth got bonuses if in the top 25th this year. I talked with my rep and he didn't know that longevity pay was gone. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, so if you um, get paid, let's think about people in Chapel Hill and people in Edenton. Okay, now kids in Chapel Hill start out, hey Meg, way ahead. Let's say they started a 67 at the beginning of the year and our kids start out at a 32. Now, 
our teachers are going to teach, 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 work, work, work. What's in your glass? Oh, it's white wine. It's silicone. And uh, at the end of the year, our kids, they've hit a 64. Now, the kids in Chapel Hill, they hit an 80. So their score is higher, right? But our growth is larger. Does anybody care? No. Burger. Remember Burger? Suggy Burger last week? Burger touts that he's one of the ones that's responsible for giving people the grades, A, B, C, or D. So what that means is that schools with higher rates of poverty seem to get lower grades. Not always. I found six schools in the state that had um, A's that are, have Title I, served Title I, but still their populations were very different. And Title I is only 40% free and reduced lunch, where our school is about 70%. So anyway, the Chapel Hill people are getting rewarded because they started out with this batch of educated families that we don't necessarily have. Yes, 80% proficiency and 20% growth. So Bob Steinberg had said he was trying to make it 50-50. And Bob, I don't know if that's going along, but anyway. So here's what this is like. Let's have a race. Now you are going to drive this Pinto Pacer. It's green. Now you, there's nobody else but me, me, I'm going to drive a McLaren. And do you know what a McLaren is? I love it. They're like Maseratis. They're fancy, you know, cars. Now we're going to race. Now who is going to win? The McLaren. Every single time it's going to win. There is no hope to not win because... It's got a better engine. It's got a family. It's got all this stuff. Sorry, my eyes are so itchy. Now I probably have like pink eye or something too. So anyway, so our schools are going to just get screwed no matter what. Nobody cares. What is that? Oh, it's a heart. That was like a stain on my chin. Um, so anyway, I saw some really good signs. I saw one that said, we're making so much money. Why do you see teachers driving around in their 98 Camrys? thought that was really good and um, for people that say this was a waste of today this was um, a strike this was a ploy this is political rhetoric I'm, I'm a conservative I'm a Republican and today I might not be anymore I hope that more people that are conservative will stand up and not just eat a shit sandwich that people are feeding them I mean if you're a Republican and you're in the House or the Senate, get a clue, be a man, be a woman, and stand up and say no. Like, eventually, we are going to have no teachers. That's reality. I mean, Amos was supposed to have speech therapy via telecomputer, like you do it on a computer. Well, we all know that's crap. It's not my district's fault. They couldn't find a speech therapist that would come here. Heaven forbid we pay people. I mean, it's hard to get an anesthesiologist in places like this, too. But they come because they get paid. And somebody said to me, well, you chose to live there. So if we go with that rigmarole, what, are we going to all move to Raleigh and Charlotte? Ugh. No offense, Raleigh and Charlotte, but I can't take all those stoplight cameras. Yuck. Anyway. Um, so it's important. Like, eventually we will have no teachers. And women, when they started teaching, there wasn't much a woman could do. She was allowed to be a nurse, a teacher a mother, maybe during the war she went to work in the factory. So now we still treat teachers like they're indentured servants, and they're not. And I'm thrilled for the teacher that says, I do this because I love it. I'm not in it for the money. That's very pious of you, but shut up. And I really don't mean that in a mean way, but you're making that decision for you. It doesn't mean everybody else needs to make the decision. The same way that you might... I don't know, babysit for your neighbor's kid and not get paid. That's great, but that doesn't mean everybody should babysit for free. Or a hundred different things. Maybe you like to work at the drugstore. Do you do it for free? You can, but I don't have to. So anyway, people need to vote in November. I'm going to be uh, scheduling a tour, particularly in the western part of the state, which is what I call Charlotte, um, and where the people have been most insulting to me. That might be, might also have to stop in Kinston and see Watson 
and that devil from Kinston, the representative, what's his name, Brendan, Brendan Jones, told me not to get a master's. Um, so I've been teaching eight years and still have to have a roommate as a grown adult. Ooh, that is a good poster. Anyway, I can't talk anymore. <coughs> I have bronchitis too. I'm gonna go eat my wings from Pizza Hut. In other news, did you see my live video? It was on Instagram, not here, because Facebook doesn't let you get a signal. So anyway, a man in Edenton won $200,000 at the um, Speedway. So I went in there and did an interview with the women behind the counter. One's name is Adrian. And um, darn it, November, dang if he didn't win 150000 mm, Some white dude that's a painter. That's what my husband said. I don't know if that's true or not. But anyway, I might start buying lottery tickets. Um, tell Watson I'll make him the dunce cap. I'm sure I'm, somebody's going to send me mean messages for calling out Watson. But when you, like, pick on me, you're in trouble. Uh, anyway, I have no big plans. I'm going to Duke to talk to doctors next week. That's Tuesday. And then, well, I was supposed to be at the March today, so I missed that. And then next, the next, how's Amos feeling? Well, he's asleep. He's feeling much better, but he is ill as a hornet, just for the record. Um, I'll be in Rocky Mount. And then I'm going to um, Myrtle Beach for an Edward Jones conference that I'm speaking. And I reached out to the embassy suites at Kingston Plantation and was like, you know, I would love to get a room and I could trade you. And you know what that lady said? Her name's Cindy. I hope Cindy's out there. Cindy says, we are sold out for that weekend. Liar. Cindy, the room's all over Expedia. So you know what I'm going to do? Because I want to stay there. I'm going to stay there. But I'm going to pretend that I'm somewhere else all weekend. And hundreds of people are going to flock to Myrtle Beach to go to a different hotel. <laughs> so there you go. Um, lottery money. I have no idea where it goes. I know that uh, I learned a long time ago not to pick on you. I know. Because I shall always win. If I, you annoy me, I'll delete you. Just act Jack Holbrook. He's been banned because he can't behave. So he's been deleted. Send me a personalized wine glass. Ooh, I like it. Um, you can send it to my address. Message me and I'll give it to you. Just don't come and egg my house. The lottery money, not much goes to education. I'd just like to point that out. And um, I think the fact that we haven't had a referendum since 1996, considering our backlog of uh, construction issues, it's a big deal. I mean, our school, like high school, doesn't have working showers. And, you know, that's just sad. And the state, the law is very clear that counties are not to pay for everything. The state loves to say, well, just your county should spend money for it. No, no, that's not it. It's law. The state is responsible for subsidizing education, hence taxes. And bail bondsmen forfeitures, where is that money? I don't know. It's a good question. I've never thought of that. I'm real into lottery money goes to roads. I think we ought to throw up toll booths everywhere for people not from North Carolina. I swear every time you go to Richmond, my friend Lisa, if I go to her house, I got to pay like 50 cents when I run to the Walmart and come back. I mean, it's kind of smart, but anyway. Well, I'll be here all weekend and um single parenting it's the water festival which i hope to be there and i might do a little work hmm. or i might just watch dateline Ooh, weren't you so excited about my video on dateline that was like the best mother today present ever and i got a tennis racket hmm. i hadn't played tennis in a long time so i might start that Carry on, people. I'm going to eat my wings. Stop by the Red Apple if you want to try to win some money. Does Amos have a favorite animal? I have no idea. All he says right now is, no, about anything. No chicken, no iPad, no, no bath, no you, no nothing. Watch the royal wedding this weekend. I don't know, Jane, I don't know if I can watch the royal wedding. I'm so done in over the dad not walking her down the aisle. I might have to write an article about that. 
just makes me feel so sad. He got paid 100000 for pretending to read a book about Britain. I thought that was smart. But anyway, I guess it was embarrassing. I mean, she just needs families are not perfect. We all know that there's little, you know, mice hiding in the closet. She might as well just accept it and have him come and just be like, you know what? My life's a shit show. My name's Megan. Now I'm in the royal family. I just accept it. I mean, think of her blog. Ooh, that'd be so good. Uh, anyway, goodbye, people.